Welcome back to another episode of Between Two A6. I'm here with Preston Piss. Um, sorry. <laughs> you know what? Uh, that's a little too too complicated. I'm just gonna call you PP. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so Preston, oh, now I'm messing up. Preston, <laughs> this is going great. Um, tell me about yourself. What What do you do? I know you're in Bitcoin, but like, why? What What's the What's who is Preston Piss? <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm a Bitcoiner. Uh, I uh, started off in traditional finance, well, at least from a financial standpoint, I started off in traditional finance and covering it media wise. And uh, all roads lead to Bitcoin, and so yeah. here I am. What'd you do in the TradFi world? It was just cover media. Yeah, I was in uh, insurance. Oh yeah, hated my life. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, Bitcoin fixes that. God, what's what's catching your eye? Everything's about to explode, but what what is your favorite thing that's about to explode right now? <laughs> uh, well, what's catching my eye is more on the AI front, to be quite honest with oh. you. A bit like uh, if we're talking finance wise, yeah. yeah. I mean, finance wise, the, I, I'm a nerd too, so you the, talk about finance. The <laughs> <laughs> the treasury markets, <laughs> yeah, selling off. Um, when you're just looking an ugly week, yeah, it was ugly. And just seeing the yield curve kind of blow out like that, with the yields kind of exploding, and knowing that. Uh, <laughs> no, so I, like it's. I think some people would say that it's getting somewhat disorderly. So like the move index is an index that, that tracks the volatility of fixed income. And when you're looking at it, I think right now it's like close to 130, 125, somewhere in there. And like when you get to a 140 or a 150 on the move index, people would say that the Fed has completely lost control of the markets and they're gonna have, they have to step into the market. So we're looking at treasuries and credit and where that's at. So that's interesting. Okay. Um, I went straight over my head. I was following for a little bit, but then it just. Bitcoin good. Okay. Legacy markets very bad. Awesome. Okay. That's perfect. I'm really yeah. glad that you said that. Yeah. Okay. Changing gears completely. Who would win to fight you or Lynn Alden? Probably then. I think so too. I just want to hear you say it. Yeah. Um, so are you are you completely bullish? Like how like how explain to me how bullish you are on Bitcoin if Bitcoin good legacy market's bad. Yeah. I mean as bullish as a person could possibly be. Yeah. I have some people that might try to fight you on how bullish that yeah. someone could be. You think you're more bullish than Sailor? Sailors have been a little, a little, a little, a little. Uh, I don't know how anybody could be more bullish than, than Michael. Yeah. You know, like, I, I like to think that I could be, like, somewhat close to where he's at. So you think you might be trailing straight. him a little bit? Just a touch. Okay. Bit, but, uh, yeah. You think you're more bullish than, like, Foss? Yeah. Yeah. Way, way more bullish. Really? Than yeah. I think everyone's, uh, he's still bullish. comparing the price to, like, you know, credit and, like uh, default swaps and stuff, and saying that the price is three hundred thousand, and like the price is way higher than three hundred thousand. Yeah. At Olive Garden, are we really family, or is that just what the greedy bankers want you to think? Well, Olive Garden is definitely owned by probably BlackRock and all the big banks. So yeah, I would probably default to that's what the big banks want you to think. Yeah. Do you think it's not Chick Fil A and it's not Five? It's not uh, what's In and Out Burger. Okay. Which isn't owned by those bankers. Right. Um, yeah. Do you think that the inflationary breadstick market that they monopolize has any effect on us as consumers? Yeah. Yeah, probably. This thing's are delicious. Yeah, I mean, I'm... I'm, I'm I guilty. can't even imagine the amount of seed oils on I that. No, so seriously. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, I'm guilty. God, Olive Garden is destroying our banking system. <laughs> Well, uh, alright Preston, we'll wrap up here. Go ahead, shill anything that you want. Where can we find you? What are you working on? Just, yeah, shill.
Yeah, I have a podcast. It's called We Study Billionaires, which we might have to rebrand it to like We Study Trillionaires or you know, Quintillionaires or something. But or yeah. Cantillionaires. Can, oh. Yeah. Canto. Well, that was really clever. Thank that you. was really good. So we might we might have to rebrand it to that. But in the meantime, you can find us at We Study Billionaires. I do a Bitcoin show every Wednesday. And uh, love covering the space and love this. I'm a fan of this. I'm a, I'm a very, I'm a very big fan, sir. I think you're hilarious. I think you're hilarious. <laughs> well, that's not gonna go to my head or anything. <laughs> but thanks for watching, Preston. Thanks for being there. Thank you. Thank uh, you for having me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please leave a comment because it gives me some happiness in my life that is otherwise kind of sad. Uh, and smash that like button. Later. Ah, oh, shit. What's yeah. interesting is your tech setup is better than mine. Really? Yeah, yeah, way better. Way better. No way. Yes, it is. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't have this fancy black vest here. Yeah, right. that, okay, that does suck for you. This is yeah. pretty, pretty. Yeah. Uh, now, I'm gonna take a shot through this this window over here. Oh, you're not, you're not protected. I'm 100% dead. Yeah, you're, you're not protected that way, but.